Hello, fellow Scorpios. How are you? Let's take a look at the energies that come up for you. Thank you for coming into your wellness, Tara 777. I really am appreciative of you. What's going on with Scorpios right now? Holy Spirit, thank you for bringing us into the energy and the vibe that is God, right? <clears throat> Scorpio, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing good and settled into your skin and happy. What's going on in the background for Scorpio? We're going to take a look at your sacred destiny today. There is communication coming and going for you guys. And it's um, it's about something you built, something that's coming in. Someone's about to, you're either sending out invitations, writing letters, inviting people to events, filling out applications, resumes, or buying a house, signing contracts, something to do with abundance, though. Someone's about to get a message about their abundance. This one also came out. Yep, this is a card of fortune, serendipity, and moving, um, having peace of mind. This is supposed to bring you peace of mind, and it could be someone else coming in because of the number two. So far, we have the 11 on the table. Ooh, spirit. Scorpio, please. I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. Scorpio, please, show me. What else don't they see? If you're not seeing it because you're trying to get out of financial rut, you're trying to be get out of anything that locks you down, eats up your resources, or causes you to feel defensive. So you're putting a lot of your defenses down so you can grow. I think that's awesome. It's, it's very home. Wow. Scorpio. You're healing and you're helping other people to heal because that's you. You're the transformers. So it's a natural thing for you to bring people around you the healing that they need. You just carry that energy, Scorpios, um, because you know how to go through things, even tough, tough things, right? My lovely Scorpios, either this is a Leo or you are going, going to be attracting a Leo or you are dealing with a Leo. One more card, please. Explain to me. Something to do with somebody's home, somebody's heart. King of Cups, you belong to somebody and they want to tell you about it. That's what I'm getting. I think somebody may be coming in and taking away the burden that you have in your heart. I'd like to say this is sunshine and roses, but the cards are tell you themselves. All right. Now, this may or may not be your reading. Take what you need, leave the rest, Scorpios and cross watchers. And thank you so much for your presence. Thank you for liking the videos as well. It just keeps traction on the YouTube um, feed, okay? Thank you so much. Your new start. You have, um, you've got a dream. You've got something you're working on. You're very passionate about it. There's that letter in your hand. The letter's in your own hand. In your satchel. You're moving towards your fortune. Your luck. So luck's about to come in for you. And bless you. And, stop, and put an end to the loss that you've been experiencing. What else, please? Thank you, Spirit. How's it going to happen, though? Show us. How's it going to happen for Scorpios that it, they come into this? There will be an offer coming. Um, this may be something coming in. Inheritance, a gift, um, abundance. Very loving energy coming in for you from a earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And that's very grounding because they're 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 coming to make an offer to you. Explain to me, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. I only call in holy beings as above, so below, where everything unholy has to go. I only call in holy beings, and I know that the love of God surrounds us. I know that the light of God surrounds us. I know that the power of God protects us, and I know that the presence of God watches over us. And where we are, God is. Might not apply to you if you don't believe it. You don't believe it. That's cool. You just don't bring hate to the table, right? Come on. Show me more, please, Scorpio story. Oh, yeah. 
Hell yes, yeah, Scorpio. You decided to move forward and follow your true path. You are busting it out now. Something's really cool. But I'm asking about how are you going to know? Follow your true north and you will know from that. What else, please, Spirit? Whatever you're doing, Scorpio, it seems to be the right thing. Because you seem to be moving forward with your heart and following your heart. And you're carrying what you have to offer with you. Yes. Let me see. What is the cause of this? What is the, uh, the clue that we need? Somebody leaves you an inheritance or literally comes forward with the offer, some kind of an offer for abundance and growth. And you will have that opportunity, Scorpio. This is King of Coins. This is a timeless reading. It is not gender specific. It's focused at the, the beautiful Scorpios that actually do the spiritual work. Hold on a minute. And that is clearing away anger and hate, clearing away negative energies, and the player person. This is the, uh, this is the Knight of Wands. The one that comes in has a bad temper, speaks abruptly, only wants fire and passion, but comes with a price, and you're done with it. Someone with a temper has, what is that? What is that? Explain that to me for Scorpio situation. Someone with an attitude cannot be trusted. Watch out. It's a queen of wands, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I mean, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Mm. She's not very happy. She's, she can't be trusted. Someone has a bad temper. Someone's trying to interfere with your journey or your money, or your offers. But it looks like that's all. They're still around, but you're ending this because you've got eight of wands. You're moving fast towards your goals and your new your new status. What's going to happen with this, this uh, snake over here in the background doing something? What's going to happen, spirit? Scorpio snake, who is this? I'm going to use tarot on this one. Show me who that is, Spirit. Who is that snake in Scorpio's story? How you doing, honeys? I hope you're good. Thanks for being on my channel listening to the reading. I needed to bring you something because I was feeling it in my gut. I'm a Scorpio, right? And we're dealing with, with Gemini season, which has to do with communication, openings, opportunity, intelligence, intelligent communication, things like that. So Scorpio, there's something going on. I want them to identify this um, Queen of Wands over here who's doing bad juju or speaking. The snake was a liar. The snake wa lied to, is said to have been lied to the, uh, I guess I, I can use a reference of Adam and Eve. I have my own opinion about that. But yes, the, the snake, the deceiver. Who's this deceiver? Spirit, thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for that message. Who is the deceiver for Scorpio so they know who it is? And maybe you can tell us what they're doing. Show us. The fool in reverse. They're not getting a new start. So they're, um, what does that mean, Spirit? What does that mean? I'm just going to take off the top, Spirit. So let's just take off the top. Okay. Scorpio. King of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There might be an Aries in somebody's life. And this person is, um, they're really super delusional. They're very delusional. Eight of Wands in reverse. They're, um, it's like being in jail. I think they're in spiritual jail because they're uh, lying about a Queen of Cups, which would be you. So there's lying going on. 
they feel left out in the cold, so they're gossiping about you. And they're giving to someone else. They're sharing with somebody else. They look to be single at this time. Getting over the uh, ten of they, the, whatever they've been going through, they, they've had a hard time themselves. However, they're super blocked from you. They cannot communicate. And the lovers is in reverse. Um, they've run out of choices. And they're not very happy about it. Yeah, they're mad because they thought you were their love and they're full. They're trying to come back. Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is you guys. You're the Seven of Cups. You're the fantasy for a lot of people. You're the uh, the prize because of the energy that you contain. Scorpio is very passionate. It's very, very seductive and powerful, enticing, because it's natural for you to be, have that ability you're Scorpio and you rule the genital area of the body uh, when we're talking the Kabbalah of the body. All right, Scorps. So um, let me just say this. This is someone that might have been a soulmate, but because of their mouth, because of their deception, because of their attitude, because of their impatience, because of their anger and their lying, you had to let them go. And that was a huge sacrifice. And they don't believe the same way you do at the moment. They do not believe. They, they, they're like, I don't believe you at this moment. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. It's narcissistic. So you've been dealing with somebody very difficult, male or female. And these are the qualities that they might have had. Lack of temperance, I told you. Really bad, really anger person. Mm -hmm. Really angry. Yeah, and they didn't want this to end. The world card... But you made it end. Right here. This is a world card. You made it end. They didn't want it to end. They wanted to keep playing and coming in and humping you. And then going off and talking bad about you. Yeah. So they're out of the scene. They're gone. You did something about it. What's happening with them? Let's see if they'll tell me something about this. Show me what's going on with this person at this very moment. Relation to Scorpio. Show me what's going on. Wow. Message in a bottle. So the message in the bottle could be that they're trying to send a message to you, but you got them blocked because they're a snake and you know it. They still feel like you're their soulmate. The fates are not involved anymore. They sacrificed you and they're not involved anymore. They're not, they're not coming from the divine anymore. Nope, see, not for you twice. It's in reverse. Yeah, the mending is in reverse too with this person. It's almost like you can't. they can't mend what they did to you. There's almost no way for them to come back and they're mad about it. While you're sitting here happy that you made some really good decisions for yourself. And you are in your divine feminine at this time, which is very receptive for your blessings. You're, you're like, uh, oh, no, I'll stay home and work. I'll stay to myself. It's better for me to be safe going through these situations. And all I need is a little leg up to get through my, my situations. This other person needs to open their mouth and tell the effing truth and be fair about it. They, you need to get fairness. They're messing in the community and they're spying, observing. While you fighting and going the distance, they're in the background thinking of ways that they can mess with you. Take your milk and honey from you. Exchange gifts could possibly be not so good. Not so good. So this causes you to spend more time in prayer, which is a really good thing, Scorpio, because now God can really work for you. Right? Now he'll come in and help you. Let's see, what's the problem with this person? Let me use the uh, Heal Yourself Reading Cards by Anna Segal. Scorpios, healing, look at you. That's 21, three times in this reading. You're healing. What about this person? Sexual arts, told you. That's all they wanted. They wanted to, to do something. They, they've been involved in something like that. All right? Yeah. 
They're not getting any angelic support whatsoever. Help is not coming for them because they're doing treacherous things. And they have an anger problem. And they're angry about your faith or the fact that you changed your way and improved your life and your perspective. And let go. And you went through the process and it's very difficult. You let go. But now you're just rediscovering your powerful sexuality and how to hold it and also hold it in um, a very high vibrational way. You just don't sell yourself to the streets, right? One more for my Scorpios. Yep. Heal that inner child. There you go. That's wonderful, wonderful inner work. That's wonderful. They never said what they meant. They have made a mistake and went on the wild side. All the while you're sitting here having faith and healing yourself with the power of love. Yeah. You're now paying attention to all the signs and all the temptations. And you got a different eye on it. You've taken off your mask, Scorpios, and you've learned. The big question is how teachable are you? And having courage to move forward, loves. Starting with your self-love practices, very powerful. I'm, I sell goddess and I sell goddess and holy sprays. They're beautiful and they're powerful and they're Reiki attuned and blessed so that when you use them and say the love mantras, this is my love mantra, and you get to say that. You also get one with Archangel Michael that'll help you knock out negative energy. And, I'll, and destroy negativity. It will always keep trying to come back to you, Scorpio. So you got to have your armor on, right? You just can't let things happen. You got something great. Okay, so now you got this little issue with this person. That's pretty intense. Let's see who else might be coming in for you. My Scorpio gang. Scorpio loves. Look at you, babe. You guys are wonderful. You're doing the work, my friends. All right. Let's take a look at a sacred destiny for you real quick. Throw me down a couple, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you for my Scorpios. Wow. Abundance. Yes. What else for Scorpio? Openness. And what else for Scorpio? Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Commenting. I appreciate that. If you'd like to make a donation to the channel, you can do that as well. I appreciate that. And you're standing still right now. You're waiting. You're doing your prayer work. You're doing your faith work. Yes, you are. And that's going to produce good fruit for you, Scorpio. Let's see what love says to you real quick. We're getting a storm. Oh, my God. Someone's going to come forward. You're going to feel that love again after the cycle ends and you're ready. There's this process of getting ready. And there, stand still on your faith. Stand in your faith. Whatever it is, it's, there's religious factors involved in this new person coming forward or the solution to your situation coming forward in a very 100% upright way, which is approved by God, which will mean that you'll have complete and utter peace. Otherwise, maybe you find yourself pulling back. You know, Tell me about abundance. Scorpio. Scorpio abundance. Show me. Love for abundance. There it is. Forgiving and learning. I think it's just phenomenal. I think that's beautiful. You know that's how you gain abundance. Because you can't open up uh, and receive until you empty open the space to receive it. And things are drawn in through your heart as well as your mind. Spirit, show me who's coming forward for Scorpios in the near future. Not knowing for certain who my, this might be, right? Scorpio's blessings. Scorpio's blessings. Scorpio's blessings, please. Scorpio's blessings. Victory over energetic shifting or relationship movements. Progress uh, over overcoming defeat, overcoming other people's opinions, overcoming energy coming at you, getting victory, standing at the behind the lion of the tribe of Judah, which would be the lion, the roaring lion within, being mastered over emotional 
um, situations for like the five of wands is conflict and opinions and gossip and backs, you know, things like that, where there's just a lot of energy going all the way around and some of it's just not yours. So you're just shutting it down. Yep. And walking away from it. Or someone's getting victory and they're walking away from something and that brings them in abundance. Tell us about the honeymoon. Four of Wands. Four of Wands is stability. That's a lovely card because that's considered like the wedding, like the marriage, um, the arch, and then it's got the victory wreaths all around it, and people are celebrating. The Four of Wands is very often considered the twin flame card. Tell me more about this honeymoon, Scorpio, and twin flame. Four Pentacles. Somebody needs to open up. If they know they're your their soulmate, if they know that they need to open up, they're they're withdrawn. Why are they withdrawn? This is Tor, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why are they withdrawn from Scorpio? Knight of Pentacles. They don't think they have anything to offer you. They want to tell you that. Um. They also want to tell you that they're not with another person anymore, a third party. They also want to tell you that they're sad. And they've been spying on you. Why? Ten of Cups in reverse. What about this religious factors? Somebody's, um, somebody's losing money. There's a standstill. And your money because of religious or something, some kind of religious thing going on, Scorpio. Uh, what does that mean? Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Swords. Someone finally gives up on something. And they're like, no, guess what? I'm going to surrender that completely. And I'm going to put that bird down and move on quietly. And I'm just going to be absolutely the happiest person ever for it. Someone needs to make a decision on something. And if you need some advice on that, I would love to do. I'm only offering my readings this month in June for 2222. And you get a full reading like this. Um, we look into whatever it is you need to know. Okay, my Scorpio friends. Anything else you want me to tell Scorpio? Let's see. Who's looking after Scorps? Let me see the keepers of the light. Who looks after Scorpio right now? Thank you, everybody. Much love to you. Master Buddha has a look in on your situation, making deep connections and trusting your inner voice. Openness. Zen, Ganesha, infinite abundance. Somebody's doing meditations and they're somebody that knows how to tap in to their inner self. Lady Venus bringing, bringing up downloads and understandings. This is either you or them and you're quite amazing. Could be, Mer uh, could be, this is Mercury opening up, open communication. That's how you get what you want. So you, whatever it is you're doing, you have to communicate openly in order to get the alchemy that you're looking for, the transmutation that you're looking for. Yeah. Scorpio, I'm going to leave it on that. I thank you so much for being here. Hugs and take good care of yourself. If I can help you with a reading, let me know. All right. Your wellness tarot, 777 at gmail.com. Thank you. Namaste.